Hey everybody, welcome back to the channel. So today, I'm going to do a video about whether two GTX 970s can beat a GTX 1080 in uh, fully at home. Let's see what happens. So I started off by running three work units in a row on the GTX 1080. Uh, work unit 1 was 11,718. 05073 so the GPU pretty much peaked out at 73C the whole time. The peak points per day on this work unit was 734,434 uh, the lowest points per day was 599,055 and the uh, ending points per day were 688,783 the ending credits for this work unit was 101,376 so the next work unit was again 11,705, but the variation was 0, 03271. Peak points per day for this work unit was 666,059. The low was 636,808. And the end credit was 648,344. The total credit for this work unit was 77,728. And then onto the final work unit, which was 11,719, variation was 0, 827, and 3. And the uh, peak points per day was 701,915, the low was 636,355, and the end points per day was 687,722. Total credit was 7, uh, 77,762. But the average across all three work units, the peak points per day is 700,802, the low is 624,072, end credit is 674,949, and the average uh, total credit was 85,605. September 1st, 2018, around the same time I was recording all of this, I had a peak of 822,239 uh, points per day uh, on this work unit. I think it all has to do with running OBS and recording everything, but since the NVIDIA GPU cores seem to eat up one CPU core per work unit along with the GPU, um, I don't think it totally had an effect on it, but in, you know, in, in different work units vary, so. So far so good with the 1080. I have a lot of uh, footage to go through to uh, get an average. Alright, let's get this card out of here. Single eight pin. All three of these cards are 180 watts. So when I'm running the 1080, maximum it's gonna hit 180. And then both of these cards, both gonna hit 180. About 180. Probably not all the way, but still, it's a lot of watts. And so if they don't meet what a 1080 can do, then we'll have our answer. So this is also the Gigabyte G1 Gaming. I love this card. It's like my most favorite graphics card I've ever bought. This bag plate on there. Fantastic. Yeah, I may in fact like uh, Gigabyte cards. I don't know why. Hey Gigabyte, send me stuff. Please. The 970 G1 Gaming in the first slot. This thing's huge. It's going right there. I haven't run two cards in this system in quite a while. I know, it's two years. I had two. R1990s in here. That made the room unbearably hot. These 970s are actually more powerful than that, so well, I got them. Plus, they don't use almost 300 watts apiece. <laughs> Go to your home. I am going to need to find more power for both of these. So each one of these cards is an 8 by 6 I had the, the GTX 660 in here for a while, but the i7 3770K actually puts out more points per day than a GTX 660. So it actually didn't even make sense running that thing. So I'm an idiot. It's sitting right in front of me the whole time. See how this boot goes. I might have to let him install. We might have to reinstall folding at home, but that only takes a few seconds. So then we'll start getting some numbers. 
Cool. Let's get some numbers. Well, well, how do you like that? Hasn't updated in a while, and right when I want to go do this, I want to get some numbers. No. Microsoft has to put out an update. I'm going to get them fresh, tasty drivers. Almost done. My CPU is getting extremely hot just for running these two cards in there. I mean, we've got one that's 160, one 170. Not too loud, but they're running so hot, I'm going to have to take some of these RPM limiters off and get my Noctuas going full speed. Alright, now on to the uh, two GTX 970s in SLI. The work unit was 11,712, 264, 114. The peak points per day for both cars at the same time was 505,867. The low was uh, 492,000. At the end of the work unit, it was 505,867, so it ended exactly as it started. The credit was 77,099 for one card and 80,028 for the second card, so that's a total of 157,127 points. So it does beat the 1080 in total points at the completion, but the total points per day during and the length of time it took to run. So the issue I ran into, which I already knew was going to happen, is the two cards combined still took about 10 hours to complete. And so what I did was I had to stop the thing, uh, stop my run because I couldn't actually get three work units done overall uh, with both cards. So I only ended up doing one work unit. It isn't a very good control group, but that's how I had to do it. I kind of ran into a time limit here. Uh, these two cards are used in two different other computers that I showed off in another video. When I used to run these cards, the two 970s in SLI, in August 2016 when I was running these, I did see an all-time high of 684,203. So that was the peak performance I had seen with these. And that's up against the R9290s that I had before that, the Power Hungry Beasts that are like thermonuclear reactors, uh, those actually peaked out at 420,087. So it shows you the compute performance compared to between these two cards, but then also up against what the 1080 can do. All right, well, there you have it. A uh, GTX 1080 versus two GTX 970s in SLI, which SLI doesn't matter with folding. You can put four cards in there and, and you don't need a bridge for any of that, so it, it doesn't care. You can even put, say, a 1080 and a Vega 56, a Vega 64 in there, and it'll run it just fine. Folding doesn't care. It doesn't care about the drivers or anything. It's just, well, whatever the newest driver is or the, the best driver for folding. It definitely proves that uh, two 970s can't beat a uh, 1080 in folding. And then also, what I was dealing with before with the, uh, the two R9 290s, which, let me tell you, those things made the room unbearable. They were so hot. The, the amount of power, I mean, I only had a 750 watt power supply when I uh, had those, and it, it, I think it was maxing that thing out pretty hard, so I upgraded to the uh, 1000 watt EVGA. That thing's gonna handle anything I throw at it, so I'm, I'm pretty satisfied with that, uh, that power supply. Anyways, I hope you guys liked this video, and, and maybe you learned something from it. Maybe you think I'm you know, full of crap, but, you know, whatever. Folding's awesome, and helps a lot of people, so... If you like the video, dislike it. If you thought the video sucked, give it a thumbs up. See you later.